Hello, my soccer universe. Quick warning, this could become a little bit ranty. Um, I am probably a week early making Champions League previews, although I wanted to do that. And yeah, uh, with, according to recent developments, it actually makes sense. And uh, just disclaimer, after all the ranting that will go on very soon, um, I decided this may be also a good opportunity to uh, tell you where things are in terms of expectations, who is, are now the favorites, because uh, since we left off the Champions League in, was it early December, uh, all the ratings have, of course, shifted because a lot of developments have. Uh, brief spoiler, the Premier League teams are dominating uh, most of the uh, ratings. I also, this is a mixed uh, Champions League, Europa League, so behind me are uh, the eight favorite teams in the Champions League and the top five out of six favorites because I am missing, of course, by Leverkusen still, which will be a number two. So these jerseys are here. So here's our Europa League. Here is Champions League. And yes, um, why am I doing it? because we have trouble, corona-related, in getting some fixtures uh, to be played at the places where they should be played. And while I have full understanding for the situation there, I think the handling by UEFA, at least from what I read, seems to be completely ludicrous to me. I'm talking specifically the games of the English teams, Liverpool and Manchester City at German venues, uh, Leipzig and probably Gladbach. For now, we only, uh, Leipzig, since it's happening much sooner, this is on the 16th of February, this is of course the one where um, it's the most urgent. We know Liverpool, and this is because of the British mutation, Liverpool are not allowed to travel to Germany. Um, and so, uh, Leipzig is now scrambling to find a replacement venue. And here is where the ridiculousness in my opinion comes in. UEFA says, Leipzig, you figure it out. Or any uh, home team that would be uh, in the situation, you figure it out. And if you don't figure it out, the game counts 3-0 for your opponent. And all the costs are distributed on that uh, on the team. Now, Leipzig, it surely doesn't hurt them to uh, with the cost, but we'll see in the Europa League, uh, uh, Austrian team almost had a similar problem, but at least they got the permission. We'll talk about that in a second. I still think this is ridiculous. I think what UEFA should do, we have now the situation where I think if, if you come from England uh, or Great Britain, you need to have a 10 day quarantine in Germany. Uh, and then you can come home, which of course is, is not feasible. I also understand that uh, Liverpool says, yeah, we're living more or less in a bubble, so we actually should be safe from the virus because we are not having any contacts. I honestly don't know how well this bubble is working, but still it seems like a good concept uh, to allow travel to a foreign country. I am also wondering, uh, as, as, as we see on the 23rd, we have Chelsea playing Atle Atletico Madrid, is there a similar problem there in Spain or is it really Germany and and or Austria only? So it's a little bit iffy. Now, uh, in Germany, the other interesting thing, and that's why I'm not sure if Gladbach will also be threatened, that in Germany, it's not the government that decides who can come in or not. No, it is the next ad administrative level, which is the Bundesländer. So basically, uh, how, 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 how do we get the states or what, whatever, if you... Uh, Look in the U.S. sense, or uh, count, uh, count, the county level is a little bit, a little bit low. But anyway, it's the first administrative division. So uh, we're talking here. Saxony decided now. Liverpool cannot come in. I mean, Saxony is anyway as nice of cities are there. And sometimes what you hear, uh, I never had that uh, feeling. But that's one of the most right-wing uh, German states that is out there. Uh, that they're not letting foreigners in doesn't come necessarily as a surprise. However, I still think, I mean, everything points there as a bubble. You guys can come in. Um, but I really have an issue with UEFA for saying, oh, no, 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 no. You figure this out, Leipzig. Now, uh, they're talking at the moment to play this in Budapest. 
doesn't make any sense either to, to me because now you have two teams tra tra traveling to a location that is supposedly safe. Um, they were talking, uh, yeah, maybe we can play both games at Anfield, which I know that Leipzig will not like. Uh, because then they have had the travel issue with the 10 days quarantine. I honestly, th my solution to that problem will be that, that UEFA says, okay, yeah, it sucks. Can we find a solution? Nah, it's easy. Let's put that game in a neutral venue. I know exactly why this is not happening that way. One game, neutral, neutral, or make it just in one leg and, you know, give them because Liverpool have won the group, give them the home field advantage. I think that would work just fine. Uh, why, why, why is it not happening? Money, because you lose another game uh, with uh, broadcasting income. So, I'm mostly, I'm mostly, mostly, mostly bugged. I'm mostly bugged that UEFA says that one team has to figure this one out. This is what bugs me in the whole thing. There should be a collaborative effort between the teams and UEFA trying to figure out where can this be played. Uh, and yes, we have maybe, if we make one game in a neutral venue, okay, then spare Leipzig the trip to Liverpool or whatever. I mean, if it really there's a problem with England and you know, um, something like that. I mean, I'm, I'm, not, I'm not coming up with a great solution at this moment. However, I, it just irks me from every, every, every account. I think the best solution would be then, okay, uh, either neutral venue one game or a uh, home field advantage to the team that cannot travel, or, or in this case, the group winner, because Le Leipzig is a run, a run up and they play one game and that counts for everything. I honestly think if this mutation there, the travel restriction is coming a little bit more and UEFA has to seriously look into that. Uh, and I could make another ranty video about the Euros uh, where they still think that it will go ahead and we'll see how this with Spectres will be. Um, I think it might not be a bad uh, thing to have another finals tournament like we had last season. Just get it quickly out of the way. Just get it quickly, null, throw side, there you play it get it out of, out, 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 out of the way and allow the leagues, okay? So you can reschedule the rounds that you will play later. Put this earlier and then we have for the teams that are still in the running, we have a two week tournament, four spots at the end of the season. There's a Champions League winner, there's Europa League winner. So yeah, you see already here the games that are played. I mean, it's in a week from now, uh, Barcelona uh, and PSG is of course the big one. Very weird. I mean, when this was drawn, PSG were huge favorites. It's not a core core kind of a model, but everyone said PSG is in much, much better shape than Bar Barcelona. And now the tables seem to be almost turning. Uh, and many other games uh, similarly. And let's look at the chances. I mean, to, to me, this is the, the favorites are still the what I call it the Guardiola trifecta with Manchester City, Bayern, and Barcelona. Um, and rather comfortably so ahead of the rest. Then Liverpool and Chelsea moved up, Real Madrid and Juventus moved down and uh, Borussia Dortmund stays in eighth and so and those are the uh, other are top eight. Note that PSG is not favored against Barcelona. Uh, it's now a 61 for the uh, thir 39 split in favor of Barcelona because Barcelona consistently has a high rating because they consistently have the best player in the world in there and that always will influence the rating. I have to say Outside of Manchester City and Bayern Munich, I mean, if I just look, these eight teams are all the ones that are favored to move on to the quarterfinals. And you can pick a hole in almost any single one of them. Almost any single one of them. I, I would even argue that Bayern and Man Manchester City, and um, Manchester City is probably the best team at the moment. And Bayern, Bayern Munich uh, is also really, really good, but every single team has a hole to me. Uh, it seems to be the most underwhelming field in a long time and there are great names in there, but it seems rather underwhelming. So Europa League, as I said, um, Spurs had to, uh, we will have to travel to Austria on the 18th of February um, and they got the permission to play in Clark, Clark because Wolves we also was about to play in Hungary. Uh, for some reason, Hungary, uh, yeah, let's reward uh, the Orban regime uh, with 
uh, nice games there to show off. Whatever. I have to say that maybe not name wise, but there are a whole lot of great ties in the Europa League round. And I'm looking Real Sociedad, Manchester United, although Real Sociedad has been on the downfall uh, so far. I still remain Juventus Vestal against Milan. Uh, is at least for old school fans like me a great matchup. Praga Roma, also not that bad, but I think we had really, 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 really. Then hits off is Lil Ajax. I think these are the two league leaders. This is a really exciting one. And Benfica, Arsenal. That's a pretty big name matchup right there. I uh, also wonder how far the Rangers will go going to Belgium if there are similar problems as well. For the Europa League fan favorites, there are a lot of things have changed. Uh, meanwhile, United, who were only in third, are now going to force first. But Leverkusen is still uh, in second and then Spurs. Leicester City moved up, Napoli uh, were uh, put down. And um, what I find interesting, and I think I know where the ratings come from, Milan, who was, I think, in fourth, uh, third or fourth uh, spot, moved down because their rating has consistently been going down because A, the performances have not been all that great. And I'm shooting this right before Milan is playing against Crotone. And the second thing is that they never had the full string squad. So kind of in in interesting but you see all the premier league teams rising up and it's not unrealistic to see an all premier league final again well that's it for this video sorry for for the rants it just it irks me and i thought i need to speak about it i will actually try to finally go and get to the champions league jersey review that i will get it by the before the um the, the second batch of first of first legs finishes that you have all eight videos in and then I'm gonna look into the Europa League and maybe I will do a few more jersey reviews on Austria would be then the next and then uh, let, 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 let's go to other countries it's just with the schedule being so dense I don't know I'm a little bit turning and uh, yeah I have to reduce something I just don't know what quite yet in any case, give me a thumbs up if you enjoyed this video, drop a line what you think about the whole series, situation, subscribe to my channel if you want to see more videos like these and I will talk to you soon. Bye! Hey there, I really hope you enjoyed this video and if you did, here are some videos and playlists that you might enjoy too. Also, please consider subscribing to my channel and clicking the little bell icon so that you get, I get updated whenever something is happening in my soccer universe. And with that, have a wonderful day!